another episode of the Touchdown with your Doug Smith. Now, folks, you all know me as a Dolphin fan, but hey, just like a Dolphin, I'll go anywhere. Today, we're going to take it right down south here to Texas, the NFC East. Got my good, good friend with me here today. He has loads of football knowledge. His name is Malcolm Johnson. What's going on here, Malcolm? What's good, bro? What's good, guys? Hey, man, I'm good. I'm good. Hey, very, very happy to have you on the show, man. Uh, you, For those who don't know, Malcolm and I go way back high school days when I was 18. Uh, man, just really, really good friend of mine, man. So super blessed and privileged to be in your presence and to even have you on the show, man. So, yeah, let's get it. And I'm blessed to be here, man. Let's get this crack. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, brother. So, man, okay, we're going to talk about the Dallas Cowboys. Now, mm-hmm. whether y'all go... Win one game, no game, or all the games, y'all are always a topic of discussion. Every single yeah. year. Every single yeah. year. Okay. Now, we're going to break a few things down. We're going to talk about Dak Prescott and his crazy money that he wants that he probably doesn't deserve. Maybe you disagree. Uh, Jerry Jones. Oh, yeah. and uh, Is Jerry Jones senile? Is he getting cramps Man. on his hand? But let's, before we get into all that, talk to me about the 2020 State of the Dallas Cowboys. What's going on, man? Man, so check it. I think that we are way better off this this coming season just for the simple fact of who the head coach is. We don't got Jason Garrett no longer. And for those who know me, know that, hey, I ain't been rocking with Jason since the man came on. Hell, I ain't been rocking with Jason Garrett since he was playing for the Cowboys. So okay. for the fact of us getting Mike McCarthy, I think, that definitely increases our chances of definitely uh, being more than a 500 team. Definitely getting into the playoffs. And shoot, getting into that NFC Conference Championship game that Tony Romo himself couldn't lead us to. So, you know, I got I got high hopes on this season, man. High hopes okay. for sure. Okay, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, you, you, I feel the exact same way as you, though I may not be a Cowboys fan. You know, from the outside looking in, looking at this as, 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 from a third-person perspective, Mike McCarthy is a great coach. Not too many yeah. people will, will debate that. Guy got a Super Bowl no. ring, was the first or second year over. Uh, he came after Mike Holmgren over in uh, Green Bay. But yep. I feel like he got a little complacent. What do you think is the big change? To, what, what makes him so special? What is he really going to bring to the table for the Dallas Cowboys? First, first and foremost, I, uh, it's the fact that, you know, he has that Super Bowl experience. Jason Garrett never had that. Jason Garrett, in my mind, was always a yes man to the Jerry Jones, you know. Okay. So, I don't, he, Mike McCarthy is more of a players over system coach. Therefore, okay. meaning, he'll go after great football players rather than just being like, hey, this player is a great football player, but he doesn't fit our system. And that's all that Jason Garrett really was. Because a lot of people, even the people that hate the Cowboys, they always say, they got such a great squad, but they never do anything with it. And, uh, uh-huh. hello, <laughs> boom. Yeah. That's, if that doesn't scream right there what the problem was, then I don't know what does, man. And Mike McCarthy's not that guy. So I feel like before Mike even signed the dotted line, he had that talk with Jerry like, look, man, if I'm going to do this, <laughs> I mean, if I'm yeah. really going to do this, you got to understand who I am. And, I really feel like Jerry Jones is really about to take that back seat this season, man. You know, the cameras are not going to not let him be on, on the screen, but I really feel as if Mike really is, is going to have his DNA all over this team. And we, like like a lot of haters would even say, we got a lot of great talent. So that's 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 what Mike is bringing to the table off top. Gotcha, gotcha. So, okay. It, it definitely looks like up and up. I mean, you guys, I have to give you guys like an A minus this past season this draft. I mean, y'all got CeeDee Lamb, a bunch of other heavy hitters in the draft. Very impressive. Yeah. Very, very impressive. Speaking yeah. of the draft, let's just, yeah. let's just, let's take a quick left turn. We're going to get back on track, okay? We'll take a quick U turn in a moment. Let's take a quick left turn here. CeeDee Lamb in the draft. Did you take and see that where this girl tried to take his phone? Oh man, I saw that straight up. I was like, "Hey, for me, I was like, my man's starting off right." <laughs> <Good 
<laughs> like, man, y'all let this lady take your phone. We don't, we don't, we don't even know who she is. That's not even his lady. I don't know. She's just a hoe. I'm, hey, now, now, if she happens to hear this, I'm not calling you that. But how you was acting, this ain't even asked you. We ain't even talking about the city. You did the right thing. You did the right thing, my man. And for me seeing that as a fan, <laughs> as a fan, I'm like, hey, I like that. It's the little things. The little things add up to the big picture. And he gets yeah. it. He gets it. So I, yeah. love, I love seeing that, man. And I love the, <laughs> the feedback that it got. <laughs> man, the memes were in abundance, my man. They were oh in abundance. Oh, my goodness. Uh, just lots of good laughs. And it wasn't just that one. There was another player where, uh, you know, it, it was, I think it was an O lineman, a D lineman, a uh, bigger black guy, and his girlfriend was a white girl. And she was hugging him, and then the mama just ripped her off of her son. <laughs> <laughs> like this is my moment. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was man, on the man's lap. She was sitting on the man's lap. It just, it just didn't look good. It didn't. I, yeah. I feel like my mom or anybody else's mom would have done the same thing. Like, girl, can you get your fast ass off my son? <laughs> <laughs> this is our moment. We built this. This ain't for you. <laughs> right. You wasn't what is shooting in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, man. Absolutely. All right, man. So yeah, Dak, uh, he's gonna have more weapons. Okay, more yeah. the, the 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 excuses are becoming more narrow, more narrow. Take it back right. to when Peyton Manning was playing, the, the great mm-hmm. Peyton Manning, year after year, AFC Championship after AFC Championship, more weapons after weapons. The excuses became smaller and smaller. Now Dak Prescott, he's no Peyton Manning. Um, this is gonna be a, a deciding year. We have a lot of things going on in Dallas, right? He he just signed right. his um, uh, he, the, the, was it the um, the franchise tag? Just took and signed that, and then also as well, you know, he's wanting a bigger contract. There's been a huge back and forth, and but do you think this is beneficial to Dax here? Do you think he's made a mistake by not taking the first deal that was sent to him? What are your thoughts? And do you even think he's even worth it? Um, so ah oh, man, it's always a tough one with with Dak and. Do I think he's worth it? Do I think this? And I'm like, I think he he is worth what he thinks he's worth. Mm-hmm. And I mean, like, we got to think about Tony Romo in this. And I always got to bring up Tony Romo anytime I'm having a discussion, even with other Cowboy fans. And a lot of people would say, man, I don't think he's really worth that. And it's like, dude, you got to understand, like, a man got drafted fourth round, right? So obviously we saw some in him to draft him fourth round. Whereas Tony Romo, we drafted him seventh round. Now Tony, when he came onto the scene, it was cool. But his first playoff game, what happened? He fumbled a damn kick. Now mind you, that was a coaching error too. So I'm not just going to say it was all Tony's fault because Tony was already starting, took over uh, Drew Bledsoe's spot. Yeah, yeah. So he already did everything he needed to do to get to that point. Therefore, I mean, he shouldn't have never been right there to do that. Like, what the hell? And if he was, if he was a bit faster, <laughs> like that Prescott is, Dak would have ran that hole in for a touchdown. But we ain't gonna sit here and say that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, but so what I'm saying is, Romo had all these chances in the world. To actually come through for us when we actually had a squad. And yeah. he did. And he was a seventh rounder. And he got his money that he was asking for. I'm like, man, Dak is on, it's going to be like his, what, fourth, fifth year? Yeah. He has two playoff wins. More than, more, more than Romo, or he's kind of tied up with Romo right now. But by the time Romo got two playoff wins, he was already in the league for like shit. Longer than longer than Dak was, so I'm like, yeah. I don't, I'm not understanding why this man just can't get his money, because he, yeah. he literally got handed the key to the Lamborghini, so to speak, mm-hmm. just the the players that are on the squad. Like we have some nice ass squads, man, coming from 2014. Just man, oh yeah. Dez caught it. I'm just gonna say it. Dez caught it. <laughs> oh but, yeah, they are against Detroit, right? Right, or uh, no, it was just, uh, the Packers. Oh, Packers. Excuse that was me. after we, that, that's after Tony Romo got his, I believe it was his first playoff win, might have been the second one. Yeah. And he was, he, that would have been Romo's year. 
But yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, my man got handed the keys, and he did what he was called on to do. <laughs> now, I don't know why the front office is not like, I, I just don't understand why there couldn't have, have been a deal done. Because really, like, if you look it up, man, quarterbacks who get franchise, franchise tag, excuse me. I'm over here drinking a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Got to get a little zone going. But oh, you good. any any uh, quarterback who gets franchise tag that year after or whatever, the second year in Kirk Cousins' case, mm-hmm. they, they're gone. They leave. My thing yeah. is, man, hey, if I'm that, this year, obviously, they're saying we want – the only thing that's going to keep you around here is if you win a Super Bowl. Yeah. So I'm like, being Dak, I'd be like, all right, bet. I don't I don't see anything wrong in what Dak has done, especially mm-hmm. last season. Half yeah. his interceptions were drop passes. That's not his fault. Mm-hmm. He throws some good balls. He's been getting better. We can look yeah. on tape. We can do this. Anybody yeah. viewing the things otherwise, go ahead and look it all up. The mm-hmm. facts, the stats. They do not lie, man. They do not lie. And with yeah. all that, like, I just don't understand why there couldn't have been a deal done. Like, yeah, yeah maybe he was asking too much. <laughs> he's not. He, he's he's not Mahomes, obviously. <laughs> but the man grows year and year, like year yeah. in and year out. He grows. He gets better. So yeah. I, I mean, I I really like I like Mike McCarthy and him teaming up. Like that's gonna be yeah. something dope to see. At all, it just it kind of pains me, man. I think I think he's worth definitely, maybe not all what he was asked asking for, but you got to also take into into consideration who he plays for. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And yeah. Derrick Jones, one of one of the good old boys, and I'm not as as a black man. I'm like, look, <laughs> I'm gonna do the same damn thing that did. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> get my money. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Jay Jones, man, he uh, definitely represents the old Texas, you know, for sure. Uh, I've noticed that about him. Uh, he ain't even from Texas. Texas. Oh, well, what are you asking? That man from Arkansas. See, oh, look. Oh, gotcha. Look, Texas is baby mom. Jerry, Jerry Jones, the, <laughs> I, I, I truly, as a Cowboys fan, believe the reason why we have sucked ass for like 20 plus years is because it's his karma. First off, when he got onto the Cowboys, <laughs> He, as an owner, the 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 prior owner is like, look, before we we get you situated as an owner, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna let go of uh, Tom Landry. Yeah, Tom Landry, legendary head coach, not mm-hmm. just for the Cowboys, but just league wide. Everybody know who Tom Landry is. Yeah, yeah. So Jerry Jones is being that that who he is. It's just like, no, nah, I got it, man. What the hell you mean you got it? Do you not understand what this man is trying to set you up for? He's trying to set you with a clean slate. And yeah. you're like, nah, I'm going to fire him. Who the hell are you to fire, fire Tom Landry? Yeah. So he does that. Mm-hmm. He's kind of a bad taste in Cowboys fans' mouth. Like, man, I don't know about this dude. And yeah. then, kind of sucks for a little bit, gets Jimmy Johnson, who he played college ball with at Arkansas. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Arkansas. That's what that man is from. Arkansas. Arkansas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, with with, with him, I, I feel like he's um, he's a control freak. He, he wants all Most the control. Definitely. He wants to be the coach. He wants to be the dang quarterback. He wants to be all that and more. You know, and then on top of that, he wants to be respected and and then he wants these guys to be family to him. But at the same time, it's a business, so he has a lot of traits that bump into each other, much like a bipolar person. They happy, then they mad, and then they all in between, right? Um, right. He's a mixture of emotions when it comes to business, right? Um, right? What was very interesting about the Dak Prescott situation, and you're right, he has gotten better. Statistically, video, he's gotten better, right? Um, but then, of course, you see, like, the overthrows and some really ugly plays. And, you know, that, that tends to yeah. get with the media, as a lot of things tend to get blown up out of proportion, right? Now, right. I find... It, it, let me ask you a question. Who do you think is better? I'm going to ask you a question, but then uh, I'm going to give you a second answer in a moment. Who do you think is better between Kirk Cousins and Dak Prescott? Because I'm starting to see a little bit of a Kirk Cousins type situation where right. you know, Kirk Cousins, you know, he wanted a big contract, but he had, to, he had to show something more. Like the Redskins were asking for more, you know, and he would have that yeah. game, boom, 475 yards, and then 
boom, four interceptions the next. So you didn't know what the heck you were going to get. Do you think Dak Prescott is going to be heading down the aisle where he's going to end up going to another team if he don't get the contract he wants? Uh, most certainly. Okay. Right. Most certainly. And I don't blame him for that. But I will say, to answer your question, I see, and I'm not trying to be biased at all, just me as I, who I see playing on screen, split screen, Dak on the left, Kurt on the right. I see Dak being better just because he's built. He's built for tough, as Texas would like to say. Mm, Ford okay. is the best in Texas. So we're going to go ahead and take that route. He's built for tough. Like, yeah. my man can take hits. We can go to that that uh, that uh wild card game a couple seasons ago. We played mm. the Seahawks. It's third and 14. We in the red zone. My man drops back. This man runs. Damn near scores. Got the first down. Damn near scores. Gets flipped. All I know is Kirk Cousins is not built like that. <laughs> Kirk yeah. Cousins is not built like that, man. His, his ass will get hit like that and, and, and be done. And be done. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So just from that perspective alone, I think I think Dak is better just to answer that. But he is in a Kirk Cousins-like situation. And this is going to be interesting. I will say this, though. I don't care what this man does. <laughs> Just get us a, a, a shift. Get us a, a Super Bowl. Last time I seen my my boys win win a shift was I was six years old, man. Yeah. Enough is enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, enough yeah, yeah. Is enough. I need it. I want it. So look, yeah. Go ahead, and get us that. He gonna get paid whatever, mm-hmm. whatever he asked for. But I, I feel like he kind of left a bad taste in his mouth, man. I don't, I don't, I, I don't think he's gonna forget that. But that, that. Is a headstrong dude, man. He's been through so much. I mean, his his brother passed away on draft day. That was like, horrible. I saw that. Yeah, that's tough. Like his mom passed back in college from cancer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's tough, bro. He's yeah. built for this, and it's like that's that's what I know. It's a business, but damn it, like like you said, mm-hmm. Jerry's this dude that likes he likes that the the, the family thing going on, and, and bro, that's that's not. I'm just going to go ahead and say, ain't nobody saying this. I think Jerry does not want to pay a black quarterback. Ooh, now, okay. That, that's I, really, yeah, that's I what that. I think it really boils down to. He don't want to, he don't want to pay a black quarterback. Mm. And on top of that, being a biracial kid myself, yeah, this is, this is Dak Prescott is. I think it's something to do with it too. Like, this is an issue that kind of goes deeper than just football, but a lot of people mm-hmm. ain't saying that. They don't want to say it, and I get it. But, hell, I'm going to say it. And I think that's really what it, it boils down to, man. But, yeah, you know, I could, I could just be talking on my ace, but I'm not. <laughs> yeah, no, the, 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 the writing's on the wall with, with Jerry, man. Um, he, he's made a lot of very controversial comments. He's trying to he's trying to flip-flop and then be hardcore. For those who don't know, Texas, and that's currently where I reside at, uh, Texas is a, uh, it, it's a, it's a right wing state and certain people are very far right, including Jerry in a lot of his ways. So, yes, um, he tries to play both sides of the fence and, and, and be a people pleaser. But, you know, you have a lot of that old mindset here in Texas for sure. Not saying all Dallas Cowboys are like that. This is not even no, a Texas no, no, no. problem. This is a United States, even outside of that world's problem when it comes to racism and battle and prejudice and stuff like that. Right. Um, that being said, uh, on the, you know, Kaepernick, you know, I mean, we're going on four years of him not playing, you know, man, it's been, it's been that long, you know, um, where, um, where can you picture him? Uh, I could imagine not in the Cowboys uniform, uh, but where, where can you picture him possibly landing at, uh, to this current off season? Potentially, man. I should say. Uh, I've always said the Chargers. Um, oh, I don't know. I know the the offensive scheme kind of like really fits his play. Mm-hmm. Um, I would definitely say the Chargers, man. I don't yeah. know where, anywhere else I could see him really. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, Coach, I mean, Coach Murphy's made some comments about about him taking and uh, being on the Chargers. You know, he yeah. definitely be open to it. So I think it's just going to be a matter of someone pulling the trigger, who at, at least a tryout. You know. Yeah. Um, but then, but then at the same point, let's say Cap comes back and let's say he doesn't play that good, you know, is he? I feel like you know, I want to see him play. Like selfishly, I want to see him play because boom, that's sticking it to the NFL. Well, I love the game of football, 
you know, there's a lot of there was a lot of bias. I mean, heck, they had a settlement outside of court. You know what I mean? When it comes to uh, yeah. you know Cap not being back in the league and stuff. So yeah, yeah, man, no. very very interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, so question, I got to take and ask you: What mm-hmm. is going to be the record for the Dallas Cowboys this up up and coming season? Um, you know, a prior conversation you you threw out eleven and five. Um, I could yeah. definitely see that. I could see us going twelve and four. You know, I don't really see us being any worse than that. And again, people, you know, people always say this crap. They're like, "Oh, Cowboy fans are every year. Y'all saying y'all gonna win the Super Bowl?" So I've mm-hmm. always said this: Who, <laughs> who is saying that? Point yeah. it out. Add them on social media so we can have a discussion. Because I know I ain't saying that, and I know other Cowboy fans they saying that shit neither. Who, yeah. who is yeah. saying this? And I, I think it's a norm that just it's just developed over time because it goes back to the Romo days, man. Like when we had a squad and we like when the Giants beat the 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 flipping Patriots, undefeated Patriots in a mm. Super Bowl, brother, that was supposed to be us. That was the last when we I lost remember that to year the too. Giants, when we lost to the Giants, that we mind you, we beat them twice in the regular season. And then we turned back around that first round by and then we play them hold the last damn game at Texas Stadium and they mm-hmm. win off a damn Tony Romo interception and we in the red zone. <laughs> See this is yeah. the shit that I, I think about yeah. <laughs> time and time again. Like we there's too many chances, bro. Too yeah. many motherfucking chances, dog. And it yeah. it just yeah, enough is enough. And I, I I I'm telling you man, I really think that what we got going on we need to go ahead and sign Jadavion Clowney and get this, get the D line just under wraps. Like, yeah. Everything is ridiculous. Everything yeah. is ridiculous. Like, oh, the, yeah. the Jamal Adams trade, you know, I ain't even gonna lie, I read that and I threw my phone down. Like, Jerry, what are we doing? But then I read what they <laughs> traded. I read what they, they traded. Who the hell? Yeah. 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 I get it. I get it. And, and, and I, to be honest, I'm, I'm not doing all that for Jamal. I'm not throwing those two first rounders out of, like, it, it, it's only worth it if you win a Super Bowl. Anything less right. is, is a is. I'll be I'll be honest with you, man. I'm expecting them uh, a very similar record. I'm expecting them to win 12 or 13 games. Seattle Seahawks, like this year. Oh, dude. You know what I mean? Dude. Like you've got to do it. You have got to do it. You anything. Yeah. And then on top of that, you got Kansas City trying to come back again, oh like trying to because they got majority of their squad. Then you got the Ravens. Cowboys yeah. are in the talks because y'all had a magnificent draft. Like I said, I give y'all a minus. I think y'all did wonderful. Yeah, um, most definitely. But yeah, and then, then there's of course a few other squads that, that are sleepers, Saints are sleepers, Buccaneers. I mean, it's it's gonna get Ricky wild. <laughs> it's gonna get really wild. Yeah. That being said, <laughs> I want to ask you. Let's break down the whole NFC East. Now, I have a video that drops. Uh, I know we're filming this on a Monday, so it's dropping tomorrow, July 28th. My breakdown of the NFC East. Go check it out if you haven't. Uh, it's going to be on my page. But, whoa, break it down for me, my man. Uh, we're going we're gonna to talk about the Eagles, the Redskins, or Washington Asterix, we'll just say that. Uh, <laughs> I don't have a name yet. Uh, or, or the Washington football team, excuse me. And then, and then, and then we got the Giants. Let's break it on down, my man. What are the no. Eagles going this year? What are they going at? Well, what's the record going to be like? Man, since they like to talk all that trash, you know, I really don't give a damn about what the Eagles do. And I'm coming at you on that Stephen A. I don't give a damn what they do. I see them going 9-7. and seven. They get way too much hype, bro. They get yeah. too much hype for me. I just don't know. 9-7. So 9-7 and seven is what yeah. I gave them in my video, actually. 9-7. and seven. It's Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, when you see the video, I drop it tomorrow. Uh, 9-7, and seven. yep. <laughs> Because <laughs> Carson, I hate this Carson Wentz better than better than that press up. Get the hell out of here, man. Get out of here, bro. Yeah, you got to say that Dak is man, built man, for any right. type of, like, I'm damn near on the thing where it's like, if Dak leaves, I'm going to leave too. Because they done played my boy Dez. Shout out Dez Bryant for the one time. ADA for life. I'm not playing this no more. They done exactly. play with my heart when they let him go. Now, you, you mess around and you let Dak go? Shit, yeah. And I don't get a Super Bowl out of this? Shit. I might go too. But anyway. <laughs> okay. All right, so next team. No, no, you broke it down. That was beautiful, man. Okay. Yeah. 
New York Times. Where are they going? Uh, what's my the brother, they last place. They <laughs> might barely be 500. They last place. Like, were they the battling with the Redskins? Uh, oh, shit. I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> no, they they going to be skins of some sort, but the, yeah. the, the Washington football team they're going to be battling with, man. Yeah, for that, yeah, last, absolutely. that last place spot, man. What, what, what record? I, I got them winning five games, nothing more. Shoot, I'm getting sick. Okay, okay. like it, I like it. Okay, and then we got the Washington football team, and oh my gosh, that's so hard to say. Uh, <laughs> so you it really is so thing. weird. Um, um, honestly, stink. I see, I see them going eight and eight. I don't, you know, because okay. I don't. They they got some good pieces, man. I'm not even yeah. lie. Just from a football perspective, you know, you got guys coming back. Mm-hmm. Guys is real good. He was slept on, got picked up. By the, by the football team yeah. in Washington. Oh, good Lord. That's so weird. But that's a different story for a different day. Uh, they got him coming back. Mm-hmm. You know, they got they got, they got got uh, the dude uh, from Ohio State, that DN. Last name Young, right? Oh, Chase Young. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they got He's Chase coming up in there. That, 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 that's big. Because he and V kid. Yeah. yeah. Washington, Washington's always had kind of like a D-line. You know, they had they had a couple people just stand out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know too much about they they thing what they got going on, but I hear enough about Isaac and, and or what Ozzy be saying, so I know <laughs> that they be lying. <laughs> Keep everybody straight, up to date, you know my brother. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, shout out to Ozzy for the one time. Uh, so I mean just from that bro, I really think I really, I personally think they'll go eight and eight. Okay, you know, I like it, I like it. Yeah, I, I got them going, um, believe in my video, I think I have them, because they only won, you know, a handful of games last year. I think I got them at like six or seven wins. Um, you know, I'll, even, I'll even go as far as to say they might get the Cowboys one time. I don't know. Oh, okay. I don't know if it's going to be home or away, but they, you know, that, that, that that's always, the NFC East in itself, because every game is a rivalry game, though. That's why it's just so funny, though. Yeah, it's, it's so funny. It, uh, you know, I think the next five years for that division, or well, Giants, I, I think maybe even five wins for them maybe a stretch again. Um, mm. And I, I think Saquon Barkley may be looking for a new home the following off. Oh, my but God. That, that's it, what I was it, about it's to a say. Mess. It, it's a mess over there. It really is. And, uh, I mean, Philadelphia Eagles, they have a great coach. I mean, they just won a championship three three years ago or so. Um, was it three? Three years ago? Three or three, yeah. Yeah, because we had a... Damn. Yeah, yeah, three. I want to say it was three, yeah. And, um... Yeah, Nick Foles has been gone there for like two, two years or so now. So yeah, and um, but yeah, man, you know it's one of those things. They they they'll get it back together. They usually have for the last twenty so years. They have they, they haven't been bad for long. You know, in other words, right? The owner yeah. has done right on that part. I'll just say that. Uh, Cowboys, no, he's, he's doing his thing. Yeah, y- y- y'all droughts don't last too long either. You know what I mean? Uh, at least Jerry knows how to get players in there. You just gotta turn it into championships and so so forth. Uh, then of course we got Washington, and they've been bad for a long time. They had a few spurts here and there, but now you got you know this new coach over there in Washington. And Ooh, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jack Del Rio, he's he's there as one of the coordinators. Okay, and then you got Ron Rivera, Ron Rivera, the mm. Ron Rivera, who could build Ooh. a damn defense. You know, he can make a half yeah. line, though. Um, Dwayne Haskins, he's gonna have to earn everything. It's not gonna come easy. You know what I mean? So, no, it's gonna be and, interesting. And Haskins, see, I I don't like. The type of I, I I don't I, I just don't like the talk that goes about Haskins, man. Haskins is not a bad kid, man. He's not. Yeah, he's not at all. He's kind of he's kind of in that Prescott limelight. Like he's gonna he's one of those guys gonna grow every year that he's blessed with, man. And yeah. that's why I'm saying they're gonna go eight and eight. They yeah. might mess around and go nine and seven. Oh yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like like the Eagles, bro. Too many people, too much hype goes with the Eagles. Just, like, yeah. the and, and I get it, I get it, I get it, but I don't. Just because that, that little part that I don't is because it's the part of me that's a Cowboy fan. Like, y'all know that y'all can't come to Dallas and y'all can't really contend like that. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, y'all y'all finally answered the call when we when it was like NFC East was up to one game and we had to go to Philly. 
and motherfuckers yeah. was dropping balls. So we had Jason Witten over there looking like he back in high school. Don't know how to don't know how to catch, catch no passes. Like, yeah. Then we got Amari dropping passes. I'm like, bro, I remember that game like it was yesterday because I had two hundred dollars riding on the whole damn season. And I lost. Yeah, <laughs> and I yeah, 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 yeah. So oh my goodness. It's just one of those things, bro, where it's like, I really don't think that they're all, that, like, they're not really that good to me. I don't, I don't know, man. But yeah. I do. You know what I'm saying? I, feel, I, feel. I, I just don't have no other word to put so, it. So that being said, the trust. team's not being good, okay? Now, the big, the big controversy, I would give it even a top three controversy of this offseason. Everything from Cap getting resigned, who's going to draft Tua, um, and, and then, of course, this. Washington's name changed. Now let's say let's yeah. get a little disrespectful before we finish out. I know you Cowboys fans and, and, and Eagles fans and Giants and, and, and Washington, they got a lot of bad blood in there. So let's Man. let's make up a made up situation. Let's say okay. a group of midgets, okay? They don't like the Giants, they're offended by the name. And then and then and then for Washington of course we got the whole everything from white liberals to Native Americans who don't like the name itself, right? Right. And then, of course, we take and we got the Eagles. Let's say a group of animal rights activists thinks it's offensive. They got to change your name, too. What are Ridiculous. you going to take and name each of these teams? Malcolm, you're in charge. You're on the clock. Go. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call them uh, Philly Hart. This is because of my man, uh, Kevin Hart. He rides hard for that team. <laughs> oh, God, I made it. Hard. What are the colors going to be? Uh, I'm going to leave them with the same color, man. I, 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 I can hit on the Eagles all day, but I love them colors, man. Those yeah. colors are dope as fuck together, man. When they go all black, it's just something about it. Like Just like the Ravens. When they go all black, I'm like, damn. Nice when they go front, it's just dope. So gotcha. that's that. Uh, yeah. New York. Ah, damn. Short sure people are protesting. The word giant is offensive. What are you choosing? New York Little Steppers. Because them motherfuckers can't finish. Like, <laughs> this, this Little Steppers. If okay. this is over there offended by the Giants, I'm going to look at it being ridiculous. I'm going to be like, okay. So y'all y'all complaining? Little Steppers. How y'all like that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I got you. I got oh, you. Oh, man. No music is being played in the stadium. I'm like, Little Steppers. Y'all just kick two left feet. I might call them uh, New York Left Feet. <laughs> that. Got you. All right, and then last yeah. we got Washington, man. And I, I was going to hear this. It may lead us up to a, another episode of y'all debating. Washington, man, look, what you that, got? That's 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 every day we we damn their debate. Well, not so much now, but you know, what I'm saying he's back in the day. So I ain't worried about that. We gonna go ahead. You know, just out of respect for the whole. I got respect for Washington, man. I, I don't know why. I, I think it's just because of Sean Taylor. You know, rest okay. Sean Taylor. He's just always yeah. had kind of kind of place in my heart since I was shown who he was. Yeah. Like, reminded, should I say, because I knew who he was when he was with the youth. But Isaac had to put me up on game with the... The thug is thug is That highlight, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. With the year, when he was on the 3-6. So with all of that, honestly, man, I would name him the Red Tail. This okay, I team. like it. That's the only respect that I'm gonna give any other all the teams, the other teams in the NFC East. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna say Washington Red Tails, man. Okay, the one. I love man. it. I love it. I love it. That's awesome, man. That is awesome. I all would right, even so, rename the Dallas Cowboys. Shoot. Oh, oh, okay. What, what we got? What we got? Man, we gonna go ahead and say Dallas, no less. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Dallas, no, what would the logo be? Shoot, man. Not a star. I actually hate stars. I don't like stars, man. I don't. Man. This is something fruity about stars. See, I'm not like every other Cowboy fan out here, bro. I'm not going to go and get a, a star tatted on me. I don't like it. You know, any other Cowboy fan that might be listening to this, they're going to be like, bro, who is he? You can look me up. You ain't going to find nothing. But look, check this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Texas. I love Texas. The Lone Star State, but I never liked stars. Our logo would just be my face. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, so you're the number one fan then? 
I'm the I'm the number one. I'm the I'm the truest fan, man. Okay, the truest I love, fan, I love him, bro. The most I, honestly, I know there are a lot of true fans out there, cowboy fans in particular, but I'm the most realistic one. Gotcha, love it, man, love it. Hey, hey, you know what, man? And I appreciate that about you, man. So so happy when you reached out, man, because a lot of Cowboys fans they're not realistic. Like this is our year, this is our year. You know, Who says it, does? Who uh, says it? Point man, out. I have to say, the Texas. Yeah, it's. I, I live. I live in. Uh, I live in San Antonio, man. It's. Uh, yeah, yeah. Every year, every year, every year is a year. <laughs> Alamo City. I love yes. Alamo City. Yeah, ten, man. Two ten. Spurs yeah, all man. day. I Countdown know City, man. Sports. Deuce down. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> well, <laughs> folks, I want to I wanna thank y'all so much for tuning in, man. That is another episode of the Touchdown with Doug Smith. Malcolm, man, before you go, man, any shout-outs you want to give? Man, first, first and foremost, I want to give a shout-out to God, because without him, none Amen. of this is possible. Amen. You know what I'm saying? I want to give a shout-out to the fam. The Justice League 1328. Y'all know what it is. Hold it down. I want to give a shout out to my lady. Man. Be next. That's my boo thing right there, man. Awesome. Supporting the brothers. Supporting the brothers do everything, man. And my fan, you know what I mean? That's Sam right, Lay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out, shout out to you too, man. It's been a minute, dog. You're yeah. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, and for those who don't know, man, I met this gentleman. Man, back in 2007, I, I finished high school up in Rhode Island. Um, got taken in uh, by my brother's family. Okay, my brother Isaac, who was on, the, we did the Redskins episode. And that's how I met Malcolm, man. And you and I just hit it off since day one, man. You definitely a day one homie to me, man. Think the world of you, Hell man. Yeah. I'm proud of you as Same well, man. you, bro. Super proud, I'm proud of you, man. bro. Hey, one day at a I'm time, man. You, man. <laughs> you doing your thing. <laughs> yeah, no, most no, definitely. Out. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm yes, sir. All this thing out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, folks. So that's another episode. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Share a friend. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And Please. catch you later. Peace. Whoa.